Saturday, March 18th, 2023. It's the back side of Glen Canyon Dam. Front side over here, looking towards the bridge. Carl Hayden Visitor Center there. Looking downstream. City of Page up top. And Lake Powell. See the spillway over there. So those are the penstock trash racks. So those prevent trash from getting into the penstock intakes. Now we're barely seeing the little top section of that, but that's a, gotta say at least 10, 15 feet from at least where I'm at in regards to the lake. <clears throat> now you can see over here, this is where the uh, batch plant used to be for the concrete. And you can see that little edge that was carved out of the rock formation there that's exposed now so it's interesting to see that low and I think we're at 3,522 feet elevation so this is three feet lower excuse me than last year so we're at the lowest the lake's been but with the snowpack that's above us that's uh, looking like we're gonna raise at least 30 40 even possibly 50 feet depending on the weather you know with, with these storms that have been rolling through so this is the spillway intake over here. You can see this is the actual right side of the spillway. Now that was only used in 1980, 1983, and 1984 when Lake Powell was at full capacity and over full pull in 1983 and 1984. They actually used plywood to uh, cover the uh, intakes uh, to prevent Lake Powell from spilling over without uh, the control of the Bureau of Reclamation. And that was a little interesting time. The lake was filling up and all they used was plywood. And that's all the Bureau of Reclamation could figure out at the time. You can see there the back face of the dam. Glen Canyon Bridge. You can see the Carl Hayden Visitor Center right there. The structure known as the Beehive. and the bathtub ring. That's going up lake. This is what we call the chains little swim area now it's just a bunch of cliffs that are over here if you wanted to swim you need to come down a good distance to get to the water and you can see the chain here preventing any boats from going towards the dam any further I should say I think those were put in after the Oklahoma bombing I could be mistaken on that though some people like to say it was after 9-11, but it was actually after Oklahoma bombing. So to give you an idea of what we're looking at here on the bathtub ring, that's 179 feet from the top where the brown line would begin into the lake level. That's 179 feet. So that means Lake Powell is 179 feet below full pool. There's another shot of the dam. There's the beautiful Glen Canyon Dam again. You can see here Lakeshore Drive, aka LSD Road. 
following the channel up lake, you will come across a fork. That will be Main River Channel there, where that boat is at. That is heading up towards Antelope Point Marina. You can see antelopes right over there. You can kind of see the top of that, I believe, is dry storage. Now, some of the classic Glen Canyon scenery in the background. <clears throat> Excuse me, down below here is the entrance to, if the lake wasn't here, it'd be called Waweep Creek. Waweep Creek would go further up towards Waweep here. You can kind of see right over there. It's Castle Rock. Now, if it was a little bit more full, obviously you wouldn't see this channel here. Locals would call this area Anchovy Point. You can see Tower Butte, Navajo Mountain. Kaparowitz Plateau. Ostrom Point would be right there. You can kind of see the tip of gun sight which is that little guy right in the center that is uh pretty much the view you would see or across on the other side obviously of alstrom point a very scenic drive out on grand staircase escalante this is continuing on towards um Waweep marina you can see there this is the Waweep creek channel right through here Further down would be towards the dam. Castle Rock. Now what we're looking at here on the ahead of us, excuse me, would be Antelope Island. Not an island anymore. And a little bit for the geology people, this is the Carmel Formation. and onto the boat ramps. Barricades here. This is the bottom of Waweep launch ramp. There is the hotel owned and operated by Airmark. You can see right up there is the rainbow room, excuse me. There, nice, lovely people are enjoying their dinners. And this is it. This is where the end of Waweep launch ramp would be. Looks like they are extending it somewhat, at least. I see dirt mounds over here. I think the National Park Service is trying to anticipate low lake levels in the future, so they want to extend. You can see in front of us there, Castle Rock, the one and only. It looks like the launch ramp ends right here. The dirt ramp, I should say. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, it looks like they are trying to extend it at least a little bit more. I'm in a construction zone here. There is the boat docks, National Park Service there. It's their little base of operations. You can see the private docks there, houseboat owners. So we got some pop-up islands coming out of the bay there. Looks like ancient riverbeds. Bunch of gravel deposits on that guy. Ooh. I think somebody just shot a flare. Hmm, interesting.
Well, folks, this is the end of State Line Lawn Tramp. You can see here, this is where the concrete ended. Let's see if they can extend this one like they're trying to do with wall weep. I think this one's a little bit more vertical drop off, but let's see what we can do. Oh yeah, a little bit more cliff face on this one. Might be a little bit more uh, difficult to uh, extend the ramp any further than it can be. There she is. Just catching the very end of the sunset here. See the Wawi windows. You know, uh, back in the day, cowboys used to stay in there. You know, this used to be a, a very interesting spot to travel through. I think the old Spanish trail went through here. That's boat rentals. That's Wawi boat rentals. Rentals, excuse me. Probably some cheap houseboats right now until the summertime hits. You can see the tip of uh, Lone Rock over there. Listening in the sunlight. And that's State Line. Now we'll go check out Auxiliary State Line. That is going to be where boats can actually launch these days with low water levels. We're still here at the main State Line ramp. Just give you an idea of what it looks like here when you're at this low of a level. So this is the parking lot for the Auxiliary State Line launch ramp. From what I've been told by uh, some of the old timers around Page, uh, this used to be the original launch ramp. It used to be just with asphalt back in the day. Auxiliary State Line. Now this is one of the only accesses to the lake besides possibly Lone Rock, but that would be a definite four wheel drive vehicle with some power to get through that dirt. But in regards to launching your boat in a public launch ramp, that is gonna be this guy. You can see some folks are coming back from their little lake trip today. Fun in the sun. You know, we're almost to spring break. The temperature's warming up a little bit, but I think we're expecting some storms coming here in the future. Next week, I should say. Okay, let's get out and check this out. You can see even Auxiliary State Line launch ramp here is at its wit's end. And they've actually implemented some steel for some traction when you put your boat in. That's going to be the dock there. Only one dock it looks like. It's Fem Beach. It's going to be a rocky beach though. Well, that's it. Nothing like being on the water this time of the day. Well, if you like this video, definitely uh, Give me a like and uh, all that other YouTube stuff. But really, I'm just out here trying to get some accurate information, views of uh, the lake that people don't really get to see in the off season and also when the water levels are so low. You know, it's a little bit more difficult to come out here to Lake Powell and all that fun stuff, you know. When uh, there's not really much options to launch and uh, to enjoy the lake at low levels, but there's a lot of water still out here, as you can see. And uh, up lake, you can still go to Rainbow Bridge. It would definitely have to be with extra gas because dangling rope is still closed. And uh, Antelope Launch Ramp, I wasn't able to get into this video, but uh, the next video I'll try to get a good section of Antelope and also the floating restaurant that's out there. So you guys have a great day, stay safe and enjoy yourselves.